Do you smell salmon? I'm dedicating today's video to Jan Orphy who asked if I would do a tutorial on baked salmon for cats. I did a video where I was cooking it, but I didn't actually tell you how to do that. I guess because I just assumed that you would already know that. I'm using frozen fish fillets and all I have is a little glass Pyrex with some ghee. You can use butter or clarified butter ghee and that's all I put in the bottom and then I put the salmon slice on top. You do not have to put a cover over this but I like to put foil over it. By putting foil on it retains a lot of the moisture in the dish with the salmon so that it doesn't dry out. And that's partly the purpose for the butter or the ghee, but also it's because Buffy needs a little extra fat. And it's really simple. You just bake this at 350 degrees. When I have small dishes like this, I prefer to use the convection oven because it doesn't heat up the house in the summer and incur the cost of electricity by using a huge oven. If you have a barbecue, you can wrap the fish in foil with some butter and put it on the barbecue. Otherwise, this works just as well. So that's only 20 minutes of cooking. So even with one filet, you still want to cook it a full. 40 minutes and there you have it and if this is for your cat which that was the purpose and intention of cooking this particular salmon filet just use a fork and chop it all up and incorporate the fat and then feed it to your cat when it's slightly cool and you can refrigerate it and your cat will eat it cold do you want salmon yeah okay let me put it in a bowl for you Yep, just what the cat ordered.